What up, YouTube? I'm Topaz Yates, and I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Doom Beats. Then we're going to review this King Los new song, man. And then we're going to take some questions. So this King Los Cat Faders featuring Ty Dolla Sign produced by DJ Mustard Man, it kind of surprised me when I first listened to it because it's not that same bullshit that DJ Mustard has been dishing out for fucking ever. Maybe this is the first sign that that hyphy slash pop sound that he was doing has finally given away, finally has died. And which I'm praying that this is fucking true. Because as you listen to the song, man, you really wouldn't realize that DJ Mustard did it without the busted on the beat on the intro. It's still a club song, but it's a different take of a club song from that producer. In which I got to say, even though it's different and I've been waiting to hear some different shit from these guys, different doesn't always necessarily mean better. Honestly, every aspect of it, man, it really doesn't interest me that much. Like, that beat could have been done much better. That hook could have been way fucking better. The way Los was rhyming on it, the, his flow could have been much better, man. Overall, as a song, it was just not very impressive. But I said the same things about the original sound that DJ Mustard had, but that shit caught on because of how many people invested so much financials behind it. So if they do the same thing with this, then it wouldn't shock me to hear this type of song, this type of music to catch on and be where it needs to be. But this is a song I definitely recommend people to go ahead and skip on past. But anyway, on to ask, download pass. And Jake's ass, do I see similarities in the NBA and the rap game? And definitely. Actually, I wrote an article about that a little minute ago. And he also asked, do I consider 90s basketball to be better than today's basketball? And nah, I mean, if you take the best players of today and you put them into the 90s game, man, they're still as dominant, if not more dominant, man, because you look at LeBron. LeBron is a fucking linebacker with point guard skills. How do you guard that? No matter what era of basketball you're in, you can't fucking guard that. Take Kevin Durant, man. His wingspan is taller than him. And he's a tall motherfucker, dude. And he uses this wingspan to his advantage with his accuracy, man. Like, he changed NBA fucking rules because of how good he is. Really, the only thing the 90s had that today really don't have is dominant fucking big men. But I'm not saying that Marc Gasol or Dwight Howard aren't good. I'm just saying there's no Hakeem Olajuwon or Shaq in his prime type shit. But besides that, man, I would run with today's players over the fucking 90s players, dude. And Black and Chaos asks, who do I feel as though is the best rapper right now? And you know, I take this type of question very fucking seriously. Now, based off of skills, which you have to be very lyrical in order to be put into this category, based off of body of work, and based off of recent great music, the best rapper right now is J. Cole. And I know people are going to try to say Kendrick. I mean, Kendrick is close, but J. Cole is that dude right now. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.